Alright, hi everyone. This is Alex from the uh, A2 Media Group, just uh, doing the target audience interview for the blog. Uh, hi, I'm Josh. I'm the target audience. Yeah, uh, so yeah. I'm just going to ask you like a, a couple questions, just answer them in the, the way you see fit. Uh, just to do with the topic and the general project. Alright, so first of all, you would identify yourself as a metalhead, wouldn't you? I, I guess so. Some of the I, I fit some of the stereotypes, mm. so. okay. but I yeah. Okay. Um. So, what appeals to you most about the genre? Well, I guess it had most of it. Well, I guess it most of it has a darker tone, and so more has more of a meaningful, meaningful uh, like lyric lyrics to it. So that's why most songs and of the metal have a message. All right. Okay. No. No. That's good. Uh, and what would you expect from a song in this genre? Well, I'd expect, uh, I'd expect a yeah, heavier in the tone. I'd expect bass. I'd expect a, a meaning, a meaning through the song and the lyrics to portray to the audience. Uh, I think I'd, I'd, that's the well, that's what I'd usually expect from the. Yeah, no, no, that's good. Um, what about from a music video in this genre? Uh, I'd expect, well, yeah, I'd expect the clear narrative that fits well with the. Uh, well, with the lyrics, of, with the message of the lyrics, I'd also expect, I don't know, like, shots of the band playing and then shots of the message they're trying to convey. Like, say you've got war, it will have pictures of, I don't know, the wreckage or something, and then back to the band to help convey their message. Alright, um, what, what would you say are the most effective elements of the music, like, in your own mm. personal opinion? Well, I guess it'd, it'd have to be, like, usually at the start, it's kind of build up so you have to allow the music video to build up as well which uh, which uh, I think is quite an effective use of the music video. Also it's a you also most metal songs you have a breakdown which allows them you can get some really cool shots in there because if you've seen um, Sleepwalker they have uh, an amazing shot of the breakdown where his like body disintegrates. Yeah. It's an amazing shot but yeah. Yeah no exactly. Um, and uh, what, what about um in terms of you conforming to a certain, what would you say you conform with the dress code? I don't think I conform with the dress code at the moment. I mean, casual all the way. I mean, look at it. Yeah, but no, I don't. The punk, you know, you know black you, hair, you long black hair, and leather chains. No. All right. What, what about? Would you say that the ideologies of a metalhead well, are reflected? I guess so. I mean, in most metal, metal well, most heavy metal people listen to heavy metal. Mostly, you know. The atheists, aren't they? They're not very religious. I mean, you get you get some bands which are some religious, like for, to, for today, they're 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 a religious, they're a Christian metal band. They're not common, but I guess I conform to their religious the religious ideas. And I don't know, some of them it's like we're all puppets to the world. I guess I kind of go with that way as well, but yeah, to an extent. Absolutely, yeah, no, fine. Um, so what about overall? Like, how far would um, you say you conform with the stereotype? I guess partially, not completely, because dress codes. No, dress no code. I can't. I, I don't have enough effort for that. But yeah, partially, I guess. Uh, be a, I would not. Have, yeah. All right. Well, well, well thanks for that. Uh, I'm uh, glad you could uh, take part in that, and uh, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.